In this lesson, we will learn about browsers in UiPath. Our mission in this lesson is to go to this login page. This is just a sample login page. You can search for it on Google, the internet login, and then you'll come to this. So it's a Selenium sample page. We'll use this username and this password, and then we'll click login. Then we'll take the data that we find in here, do a Google search, and present the data for the user. So fairly easy. The first thing we'll need to do in UiPath is to go to Home, then we'll click Tools, and then we need to install the Chrome extension. If you want to automate in Firefox or Edge, another browser than Internet Explorer, then you need to install those extensions. When you have ins installed it like this, then if it's your first time, there will be a pop-up in this browser asking you if you want to install the UiPath extension here in the browser as well. Just click yes to that. So we can go back here. The first thing that we will do is to open up a browser. So search for open browser here and drag it in. We will mark the open browser here and then on the browser type, choose Chrome. Then we'll go back to Chrome. We will find our login page. We will copy the address here and go back to UiPath. Now we will create a variable. We will call it str url. It will be a string and in the default value, put in quotation marks and then paste in the value like this. Because now we can just put in the str url here and that variable that holds the value that we just defined. So this will just open up a browser. We can try it. So let's close this one. We can run it. And what you'll see is that it will just open up the internet login when UiPath run here. That's it. We can verify it that we are here. So fairly easy. Then we need to find uh, the username and the password and the username we have here. So copy this one. And again, we create variables for it. So create two variables. The first one is str user. Go to default and in quotation marks, paste in the login. Then we can create the password str pass, quotation marks, and then we'll find our password here. That's super secret password like this. And paste it in here in quotation marks like this. Because now we can type in the uh, username and password. And what we'll do here is that we'll find the type into. This one will type anything in. This could be a browser or an application. Ours is a browser. So click here, indicate element inside browser and choose the username field. You can see that it becomes yellow. We can type in whenever, wherever we want, but we want to type in here in the username. In here, what do we want to type in? Well, we just want to type in the str user that holds, that holds our value for the username. Similarly, we will do for the password. So drag this guy in, indicate the password field like this, and then we'll say str pass like this. We can try to close down our browser and we can run the sequence again. UiPath will run in a few seconds. We will now type in the username and the password, and it's fairly easy. UiPath is really intuitive, so this one will become, uh, yeah, almost a routine after you did it the first time. Then we just need to click the login button, and for that, we'll find a click activity like this and drag it in. We will indicate where we want to click, and we want to click the login like this. Again, we will close it and we will run it. <clears throat> UiPath will run and now it will log us in. So it will click the login button and we are logged in if we go to the browser. Let me close down. This one is just my password manager. So what we need to do here is that we want to scrape this welcome to the secure area. When you are done, click log in, log out below. So that's fine. We will um, use a get text that is screen scraping. So get text, drag it in here. And now we need to indicate what we want to scrape. So click here and we can find a text here. 
So this guy here, the get text, this one produces a string variable. It will go over here in the output, and that string variable we can work with afterwards. So go over here in the output, press Control K, and we can call this str login text or whatever we want. I know this text is nothing of importance, it's just an example. So now we got this. We can uh, work with this as we want it. We can, for example, just write it out in the first place. So we drag in a right line, and then we'll refer to our login text, the string here, like this. Let's try to run the workflow now and verify that we indeed have created the flow that we wanted so far. So we log into the web page here in Google Chrome. Then we scrape the data and we go to the output panel to verify that we indeed had scraped the right data. So go to output and we can see here that we have the welcome to the secure area, blah, blah, blah. So far, so good. We can now delete the right line because what we wanted to do was to go to Google and type in a search. And what we do here is just simply just navigate to, drag it in. And here we can just hard code in the variable. We could, of course, also create a variable if this one changes, but Google is Google. Hey, so what we want to do here is just, we'll just say Google. Let me get the address here. And in quotation marks, paste it in. That's the Google address. So this one will navigate our browser to Google. We're here. And then we want to type in the search. And what we'll do here is that we'll find a type into drag this guy in underneath, then we'll indicate the search element. So click indicate, that'll be here. What search do we want to type into Google? Well, it was just this data that we got from up here. It didn't make a lot of sense, but uh, it serves as a great example, as I said. So now we'll type it in. We need to either click the search button or more easily, we could just have an enter click because when we do a Google search and hit enter, it will search for that uh, specific text or string. So click plus here and then find the enter button. So now our workflow is totally finished. We can uh, close down Google and we can run it. So the workflow will now run. We will take the username, the password, the login. We will scrape the text and we will do a Google search on our string. We can go down to Google and we can see that we indeed had made a search. The important lessons here is to make sure you enable the Chrome extension and choose the Chrome um, browser type over here. Then we will create variables for the parts that can change or that we can reuse. And then it's pretty much straightforward. It's type into, click, get text, present the data, navigate to. So UiPath is very intuitive.